I don't agree with the jury's decision. I found Amber Heard to be credible. I found her to be the real victim here. Certainly, she did some bad things too, but Johnny Depp is the one who was older, taller, stronger, wealthier, more powerful, and I think he's the one who really took advantage of her. Amber Heard is sure that she will appeal against the Virginia court's verdict, which pronounced her guilty of defamation. While many are unsure how she will afford the $10.35 million deposit, legal experts are now debating her chances of winning the appeal. Lisa Bloom, an American attorney, spoke out on BBC about how Amber Heard might actually have a decent chance in the appeal. Why does Lisa Bloom think Amber will get an appeal? What do other legal experts have to say about it? Keep watching to find out. American attorney Lisa Bloom was called as a guest on BBC Newsnight, where the topic came to Amber's supposed appeal. The attorney stated that Amber's appeal attempt has a high chance of being successful. She reasoned that most cases of defamation are decided on appeal and that she had handled similar cases before. She should win the case because all she said was that she was a representative of domestic violence, which would mean if there was even one incident of domestic violence against her, that would be a true statement. She also stated that the verdict was inconsistent in the fact that she was held liable for that op-ed's title, when in reality, she only tweeted the title. Hence, Lisa thinks an appeal will be successful. However, other legal experts disagree on what Heard's team should or will do if they intend to appeal the case. The jury appeared to believe Depp's story more than Heard. Experts also agree that appellate courts are hesitant to reassess jury credibility judgments, even if this jury's conclusion appears contradictory. Anyone appealing faces an uphill battle, says Rebecca Sullivan, a family law attorney in Washington, D.C. Whatever Heard's team decides, an appeals court will not issue a decision anytime soon. It's a long, expensive process, says David Ring, a civil trial lawyer in Los Angeles. He and other experts predicted that the appeal would take at least two years. Several attorneys who spoke with Time estimated that Heard will be out hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees on top of the millions she has already spent. But when you're facing a $15 million judgment, Ring says, you almost certainly have to pursue that. Still, if she goes ahead with the case, her team may have a better chance in front of an appeals court than the jury of five men and two women who awarded Depp damages. Moreover, the trial was broadcast live on television. Jurors were not sequestered, and videos and memes of Depp and Heard on the witness stand, including overwhelmingly pro-Depp commentary, were unavoidable on social media platforms such as TikTok. I would expect the appellate portion of the case, where the audience is judges, to focus on legal arguments and a lot less on theatrics that we saw in the trial, where the audience was a jury, Sullivan says. Experts believe Heard's team could make a variety of arguments. In this case, the trial judge allowed a lot of evidence in. I mean, a lot, Ring says. I think things got a little off track from what the real issues were. So that's the basis for an appeal, albeit not a particularly strong one. He goes on to say that evidentiary rulings are rarely used by an appellate court to overturn a jury verdict. According to Marianne Franks, a civil rights law professor at the University of Miami, Heard's team may challenge the judge's decision to allow the trial to be live-streamed, a particularly unusual decision given that the case involved allegations of sexual abuse and domestic violence, as well as the judge's decision not to sequester the jury, which resulted in a trial by social media. I think that's a pretty good argument, Sullivan says. What made this trial so extraordinary was the way it was covered on social media and in the news, creating a circus of public opinion. So in my opinion, Heard's lawyers have a a pretty good chance of succeeding if they can argue they were influenced by outside factors that were not admitted in trial. However, Ring believes that argument would be a loser on appeal because the concept of sequestering juries has fallen out of favor in modern courtrooms. It's just not realistic anymore to imprison jurors for six weeks without their phones, he says. Heard's team, on the other hand, can question the trial jurors about what they ruled the way they did. If they interview them and the jurors say, we followed TMZ every night, then you have a basis for an appeal. But I don't think anyone will admit it if it happened. Sullivan also believed Heard's team would focus on the headline when filing their appeal, mirroring what Lisa Bloom stated. Sullivan believes that by focusing on the First Amendment issue, Heard's lawyers
lawyers may leave open the possibility of taking the case to the Supreme Court. If they want to go all the way, she says, they'll make sure to include a First Amendment claim. The legal experts disagreed on whether Heard would have a chance against Depp if she appealed her case. They all agreed it might be worth the risk for Heard. This is in no way, shape, or form a slam dunk winner for Johnny Depp on appeal, says Ring. Amber had the following to say about her upcoming appeal. As stated in yesterday's congressional hearings, you do not seek a pardon if you are innocent, Heard spokesperson told the Los Angeles Times. You don't refuse to appeal if you know you're correct. Who do you agree with the most? Let us know in the comments down below. Then make sure to like and subscribe for more.